everyone, Pushing Up Roses here, and welcome to the exciting world of moonshine racing, a sport that involves blatantly breaking the law and distributing barrels of high-potency booze to grimy bars across the Midwest. This game was developed in 1991 by a company named Peakstar Software, a company known for... not much. In fact, according to the internet, they really only developed racing games and one action shooter called Thunderstrike. This game was available for DOS, the Amiga, and the Atari ST. The footage I'm showing here is the DOS version because that's the one I had as a kid. So let me give you the lowdown. This is a racing game. You assume the character Billy Joe. In the middle of the night. No, not Billy Joel, Billy Joe, whose goal in life is to be the first one to get to the bar so the owner will buy your moonshine. And yes, there's a group of other racers also trying to get their moonshine to the bar. Your buddy, Ike, drives across the lackluster Midwest scenery with you as you attempt to dodge the sheriff and obscene amounts of obstacles in the road that cause your car to explode. Seriously, moss can make your car explode. Stay the fuck away from moss. My love for this game is one akin to my relationship with beer. In general, I don't like beer. I like stronger, more versatile alcohols, but every now and then, I try beer again. And I don't like it again, but I keep going back to try it because fuck if I know why, I must find something appealing about the taste of beer. The same way I keep going back to Moonshine Racers despite it being completely bland and not at all enhanced by foods with high levels of grease. This game is extremely difficult. I used to play it over and over again when I was little, spending hour after hour trying to make it through each level and never getting past level 6. You're not only racing other moonshiners, you're also trying to dodge this sheriff character who will seriously, seriously fuck up your car if he gets on your tail, and also all of this random shit on the road. This meter up here indicates how much damage your car is taking, and if the red bar goes over, your engine explodes and you're stalled while your carpool buddy Ike here cries like a baby. There's a cast of characters introduced to you in the beginning of the game in an attempt to, pun intended, give the game character. You can't do anything or really interact with these characters. As you're driving through each track though, you can see them talking to each other via the CB radio at the top of your screen. Not that I have time to be reading the top of my screen when some dipshit left all this crap in the road, but it really doesn't matter because they just regurgitate the same unhelpful lines over and over. Watch the road! Yeah, thanks Ike, that's real helpful. Thanks! In between levels, you can buy some upgrades with the reward money you get from delivering the moonshine, but to be honest, I don't even know what these items are helping me with. Let's see, I can buy some tires. Tires? Tires with a Y. Why is the UK spelling of tires in this game about the Midwest? I can buy a new engine, a turbocharger, both sound really helpful. Oh my god, furry dice? Uh, yeah, I need those. Boom! The upgrades do seem to help, but damn, this game is still unfairly difficult. Doesn't help that the steering mechanic is broken. The car isn't turning on the road as much as the camera is just moving to and fro. It's really kind of nauseating, and it makes these sharp turns really annoying. When I booted up the game last week, I noticed it was strangely quiet. Man, I really thought I had recalled some music, and there is some during the introduction, but the levels themselves are oddly silent with the exception of some sound effects. At first I thought it was deliberately left out so that the player can concentrate on racing, but then I found that you can turn it on by pressing F2. Wow, the music was turned off by default. Is it that irritating? Yes, yes it is. I feel like I should go listen to dueling banjos while sipping on a mint julep. Each level comes with a different map, appropriately named something stereotypically western. I gotta say, I do like these levels, or should I say level, because honestly each screen is very similar to the last one. Not a lot of variation going on here with the exception of some backgrounds that are more detailed than others, and some levels that have freaking minecarts in the road while others have carcasses, and trees so deadly that they will cause your car to set fire. I did discover a way to beat this game though. You practice really hard, you buy all the upgrades, and then you cheat! Yeah, that's right, the game has a cheat that allows you to skip levels. While you're racing, you simply type chicken masala and hit F10. Finally, I get to see the other levels of this game, and as expected, they are unforgiving. I had to chicken masala it up several times. Shit! Shit! I'm on fire! Chicken masala! Chicken masala! Alright, it worked! Best cheat ever. I seriously felt rather lost on coming up with a good strategy for doing well on these levels. The sheriff is a fucking troll. He will bust up your car out of nowhere. Even after I tried slowing down to pass him, he will then wait for you on the side of the road so when you start driving again, he will just continue to pummel you. 
But somehow, despite the frustrations and redundancy of this game, I just keep going back to it, the same way I keep going back to beer. There's something charming about it, and maybe I'm just blinded by rose-colored glasses, but there's a part of me that really likes this game. It brings forth memories of my old DOS computer with the light blue power button right next to the turbo button, and the CTX monitor, and the floppy drives. Oh man, the floppy drives. If there's one thing I can say about this game for certain, it's that it's challenging? It's not the most profound game ever developed, and it's kind of unfair in terms of gameplay, and there aren't any memorable characters, and the camera mechanics are kind of shoddy, but at the very least, it's nostalgic. And that's about it. It's not a hidden gem, per se. It's more like a hidden piece... A hidden piece of halite. Rock salt! It's like a hidden piece of rock salt. Yeah. It's at least worth a glance, if not only to see this ridiculous game over screen. Man, that bar owner kicked Billy Joe's ass so hard that his sock is coming off. Either that or he has a serious case of foot melting syndrome. And remember, watch the road. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my video on Moonshine Racers. I hope some of you remember it, and if you don't, I seriously hope you'll give it a try anyway. I just want to know if it's harder than I think it is. And remember, if it's too hard, then chicken masala. I have more videos on my channel, one is linked in the annotations, or you can subscribe or follow me on my social networks, or support me on Patreon, or you don't have to do any of those things. Chicken masala, man. Chicken masala. See you guys in the next one.